to what we were uh, talking about last week. We uh, were talking about function pointers in, in, in C. And just making a, a, a short re, 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 revision, we saw that a function is an, an basically an address to code storage in, in, in memory. We saw that we could use the name of a function as uh, any other variable in, in C. Um, we have uh, pointers that are variables that store addresses in, in memory. And ordinary, let's call it ordinary pointers point to, to, to data. And the function pointer uh, is a pointer that uh, points to, to, to code. And uh, the syntax follows the, the, the common, common rules where a star before the, the name indicates that uh, that name is uh, a pointer. And so this uh, allows us to have uh, flexible, flexible structures like this example. So, of uh, okay. oh, sorry, there was a okay. Let's go back. Okay, thank you. Uh, there was one click missing. So, um, get going back again. Uh, we have ordinary pointers pointing to data function pointers that are pointers that point to 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 code syntax is exactly the same a star before the name denotes uh, a pointer and we have uh, we can have structures like this uh, array array of uh, function pointers that allow us to to choose in in runtime uh, given, for instance, the value of the variable C, which function will be called at uh, that point in the in the in the code. So, uh, in this is used now to 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 introduce the the, the concept of uh, callback functions. What's the the idea uh, behind this? Uh, callback functions. All the code that we, we, we create should be or, organized in, in, in models. So these models are, as we have seen, detachable pieces of, of code that we can separate uh, that contain the, the code required to perform us a specific function, um, like uh, as you are developing now a, a, a device driver, it could be a device driver for the analog to digital con converter for um, a timer. It can be a model with a specific uh, with sp specific com computation that are required by, by some kind of, of programs, a model to implement a PID con controller for, 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 for instance. And these models should be um, closed pieces of code. So they need to be coherent. And, and the idea in order to improve the reliability of code is that I write them, I test them. And then once they are written and, 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 and tested, they, they, they should not be uh, modified because I'm, after those tests, I am sure that the, the code is working correctly. And I don't want to uh, expose myself to problems in the, in the, in, in the future. And in this way, uh, allowing user uh, mod modifications to that code may uh, compromise code in integrity. But on the other hand, uh, the idea of rigid models uh, is not adequate or, or, or even uh, uh, acceptable. Because when I, when I write some, 
one of these models, it's impossible to anticipate all possible uh, situations. Uh, so there will always be uh, some actions that are specific to the to the context where the the user is uh, applying that 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 model. And by that reason, we need to provide some kind of uh, configuration, but still uh, keeping the, 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 the rules above that these models should be closed pieces of code, and we should guarantee that there are no changes that may uh, compromise the, the the way the the the, the, code, the code works, and so the the the, the solution, uh, the standard one of the standard solutions to to do this is to provide in the user code some entry points for the 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 in the model to provide some entry points to the to the to the user code. And these uh, entry points are exactly the, 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 the callback functions. How does a, a, a callback function work? The idea is that I have a, a high level of uh, application being developed by a, a, um, a user, and I have the, 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 the driver model. This driver mo model should be looked as a, a, some piece of code that's closed. It has a closed in, the ter in terms of the, the development. So uh, there should be no changes to, 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 to this code. It provides a public interface. It, it has uh, its own internal uh, data structures and, 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 and functions. But it should be able to adapt itself to to the to, to the user needs, and that's uh, as then by uh, callback functions. The idea in callback functions is that at beginning there is some way for the application to announce that uh, there is a function that the the application requires to be to be called in some uh, circumstances. And by providing the, this indication during the, the, the setup phase, this will uh, allow the driver model to call back the, 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 the user function when, 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 when needed. That's where the, the name comes from. So the application will provide the, the, the model with the name of, uh, of a function, and the, the driver will later call back that, that, that function. In terms of um, code and data, data structures, uh, the basics are uh, presented here. So how does it work in the, in the, in the model? First, in the in the public section of the of the model, I must announce some function to initialize the the the, the callback so that it can receive the, the indication from from the application. And what the application will do is to call this function and provide the address of the the the, app, the application code and this is implemented in the private se section by uh, a function pointer and this uh, initializing function the, can be something as simple as just assigning the address of user code to this internal function pointer and then we never uh, in the in the code of the the, the 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 model when the user function is to be called we just need a function call using that function pointer that was initialized with the 
interface, interface function. And in this way, I have a structure where I can have a, a model that does not change and still is able to uh, be adapted and run uh, user, user guild. In the in the in the Moodle page, you have a link for a, a, a post that contains a, a, an an example of a, a callback function that we will uh, have a have a look now. So if we go to the to the e learning page, you can. Uh, You can do that on your on your own too. Uh, it will run uh, uh, directly in uh, uh, Linux. If you are using Windows, you can you can run the Ubuntu box, and that will be uh, equivalent. And so here in the in the the, the lectures for for today today is uh, lecture seven uh, we have this okay so if you uh, go to lecture six and seven um you have this uh, link using c callback functions and then you have here the the the, the example of a, of a, a call call uh, of a call callback function You have the, the the code in this zip file that you can uh, you can you can download, and let's just have a look at uh, how things are are organized here. So I will um, show you the 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 code just to confirm you are uh, seeing my code editor now right yes okay so uh, this is the the code for the the the, the model the model is a is a very is very is a very simple e e example and it relies on the uh, unix uh, signals um unique signals are uh, um, a, a feature of, of c in uh, unix systems where i can have in interruptions or, or signals uh, that are caused by uh, a, a external events so these work in the same way as interrupts in the in the micro con 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 controller and uh, you ha you can find in the in the web many examples of um, what are these 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 these, these, these uh, signals. You can, for instance, have a look in the in the in the Wikipedia uh, the page about uh, signals in interprocess uh, communication. It gives you a list of the the existing existing signals. You have here the the the, the list of of signals. And for instance, when you are running Unix applications and you press Control C, which is uh, in many programs used to terminate uh, the, the 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 program. That control C is actually a, a signal, and it is handled by the by the by the program. In our case, 
uh, we are uh, using, uh, we are developing a, a, a model and we are dealing with the response to pressing the control, control Z. So pressing uh, control and, and Z at the same time, and that defines uh, uh, a signal called the uh, signal T stop. So we can look for it here in the in the in the in the list. It's this signal, and uh, this signal instructs the operating systems to stop to stop. Uh, a process for later re re resumption. And what we are going to do now is to uh, re redirect uh, this signal to a function that uh, we write. And uh, that's a, a, a function called module service uh, routine which we can see here is internal to 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 this to, to to this model it's not announced in the in the other file the only thing announced in the in the other file is this function init model so what is this uh, model service routine the only thing it it, it does it's it's shown here is uh, to run uh, sorry the init is what as we have seen before uh, it installs the 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 model service routine so that when i press control z it will run the internal function and it does another thing which is to assign this internal pointer the value of the user provided provided function, and so uh, when we have when we now look at the, the the main file, we have here at the application level two functions, and uh, what we do in the in the main is simply to init the the to call init init model init model defines which function will be uh, called in response to to control z and then we have a, a an infinite loop that uh, runs and every second prints a, a, a dot in the in the screen just to signal that the the, the program is alive those two functions function one and function two are simple functions uh, that just print uh, a string to identify and to signal that they have they have run. So I have here the a folder with this 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 these this functions. If I compile this and then I I run the the the, the resulting file now i see uh, that every second uh, i have uh, a dot printed on on the on the screen and then if i press control control z what it will do is to call function to y because uh, when i run the this init model function and going back to the to the model code, what it does is it installs uh, an internal procedure, model server routine, as the response to a, a, a six stop signal, which is uh, equivalent to pressing Control Z, and then it gets as the the argument uh, a function pointer. And, and it assigns the, the address of that uh, function to the value of the internal function pointer. And uh, the model service routine, whenever it's called, so whenever I press Control Z, I know this function will, will, will run. It will uh, call 
for the user defined function. Notice that uh, there are some uh, safety measures here, like uh, adding this uh, uh, check uh, in, on uh, the value of. Uh, okay, so we are back here in the in the in the main room. Uh, at least a few of you or were able to to complete so let's uh, see um, the 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 idea uh, so i have here a function that allows me to change the the behavior of the the, the program every time i press i generate an, an, an interruption in this case by typing control z and i can even create a uh, New any any new function and make it see make it be the function that uh, runs whenever I I I press uh, the Control Z keys and uh, the only thing I have to 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 do is write the, the, the function and then when I start when I need the the, the the model just change the 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 function that is installed as the handler and that it will be called back by the by the by the model. And so if now I I create the the, the program again and run it Whenever I press Control Z, now it's running the the newly written function. The only con condition, as we are working with the uh, function pointers, is that the prototype for calling the the, the function is res respected. In this case, I'm using functions that have no arguments and return no value. So void functions that are void in the argument and return void. And that's the only con condition for, for this new, new new function. So this uh, uh, so we have a, a model, a C model that takes care of programming the interrupt uh, service. And we don't need to care about that we just need to know that we have this initializing function and then we have to create the, the, the function that will uh, work, that will be called back during the, the in interrupt. So we have been looking at the code that uh, implements this uh, concept of uh, call, callback functions. And uh, just to uh, make a short review of what we've been talking about by using callback functions i can hide all the model uh, details to the to the application pro, pro, programmer this means that the user does not need to to change the the model code and these callback functions this concept of callback functions is provide a mechanism so that i can have a, a a model doing things uh, that are con configurable, but without exposing the, the the model internals. The only interface I need is that uh, the in a function to initialize the, the model and set the, the the pointer to the to to the callback function. And uh, in C, the, the, the callback fun functions are implemented using function pointers. Um, remember the, this definition that uh, we uh, I presented you be before, that a function pointer allows to define a pointing code where the function will, will, will be called, and then only later in runtime define what, how what's going to happen when that, that, that function is, is called. And so that is 
that is that is done by placing a function pointer in the place where I want to call the the, the user function and creating a, a, an interface function in the in the public section of, of the model to set that 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 value and then uh, the what the user application needs to do is to call the, that uh, initialize initialization or configuration function to set the the required variables and we see here once once again the principle that uh, we should always uh, avoid unless we have good reasons to to do so we should always avoid uh, exposing the model's internal data structures. Uh, we have internal data structures, and then we have functions that allow us to manipulate those data data structures. OK, 